This episode is sponsored by NordVPN. Whether you're down the block at your favorite coffee shop or in a whole other country, go online without worrying about who might be snooping on your information with NordVPN. NordVPN also lets you switch to servers all around the world, giving you access to shows and movies you can't get at home. It's actually my favorite reason to use NordVPN. Sign up today with my link, nordvpn.com Alvin, to get a huge discount and for a limited time, four additional months for free. Hello there, welcome back to another episode of Anime with Alvin. Today we're going to be making Sanji's bento box. Originally, Sanji intended this box to be for a girl he liked, and when you're cooking for a crush, usually you kind of go a little bit overboard. Even though this ended up in Luffy's hands, there's still quite a lot of fun foods in here, so let's get started. First, we're going to get started with Japanese style curry, a pretty comforting dish that I made on the show a couple times before. Chopping up one whole clove of garlic, cutting up one small onion into chunks, followed by peeling one large carrot, and then applying a roll cut method to ensure a very jewel like consistency on these carrot chunks. That follows up with one potato, which I am now going to peel and then chop into similarly sized cubes. We're also going to cut up a pound of beef into one inch cubes. This could be pretty much any cut, as long as it looks good in the store. For extra flavor, aromatics, and texture, we're going to take one red apple, peel the skin off, and then just grate that into shreds. The sweetness of an apple goes really well when it breaks down inside curry. Onto the stove. In a pretty decently sized pot or saucepan, we're going to sear the beef until just the outsides are starting to brown. Brown, then the vegetables get dumped in. After that gets to hang out for a little bit and gets a little bit of color on the outside, we're going to dump in two cups of beef broth and one cup of water. Bring that to a simmer and then add in the grated apple. This stews for about five minutes, at which point we're going to add two curry blocks from the pre-bought package. And they usually come in a four-piece packet, but we're only going to use two of them today because this batch is not super big. This gets stirred, gets simmered, and starts to cook off to the side. We're waiting for the apple to break down because that's when we know this will be done. Probably 20 to 25 minutes on medium low heat. Next up, what seems to be a spicy lemon cold pasta dish on the side. Pretty simple, gonna cook a quarter of a pound of spaghetti according to package instructions just until al dente, which is usually two minutes less than what they say. After the pasta gets removed from the pan, the heat is going to help us melt one tablespoon of butter inside. Actually two, cause butter is good. A teaspoon of red chili flakes, a hefty pinch of kosher salt, then a zest and juice of one lemon, and a tablespoon of finely chopped parsley. Give that a toss until it's nice, spicy, lemony, and buttery, and that's good for now. The next item I'm going to be making seems to be a ham, according to what looks like ham in the show. But to add some flavor and oomph, we're going to glaze this in honey, because honey glazed ham is delicious, and no one can really argue that, except if you don't like honey, and if you don't like ham, and then I don't really like you. For whatever reason, animations or cartoons really love the whole meat on the bone situation, by taking a chicken drumstick bone that we have cleaned the meat off of, and putting that inside the ham, which is pork. This goes into a hot oven around 450 degrees just until the honey has started to caramelize. The bento box also seems to feature a fish, so we're gonna get started on making a simple grilled fish, or roasted fish. Based on the silver sheen, I'm gonna guess it's maybe something like mackerel. So we have a whole mackerel, quite on the larger side. We're gonna rub the skin and surface with oil and season the outside and inside with just a heavy pinch of salt. This also gets roasted in the same oven at 450 degrees for about 10 minutes just until the fish is cooked through. Once the skin is nice, crispy, and crackling, this gets exited, and the flesh of this gets removed in nice big serving chunks, so that way whoever eats it does not have to deal with the bone. The next item in this bento box is a nice looking burger. That begins by toasting buns, in a little bit of butter, of course, until the buns are nice and toasted and crispy on each side. Then goes a pretty hefty beef patty. This is a nice little single patty burger, not a smash burger. We're gonna sear this until it's brown, nothing crazy here, add some salt on the top with a little bit of pepper and continue cooking it until it gets a nice sear. That's pretty nice. On goes a slice of American cheese, my preferred cheese for burger as it melts really easily and also seasons the other side. Put the lid on top to barely melt it, off it exits, and we're just going to assemble our burger with lettuce on the bottom, a nice healthy slice of tomato, I actually don't like tomato, put the patty right on top and with some ketchup, three aesthetic pickles, and the top bun, I present to you burger. Cool. 
This next item is probably the one I'm the most excited with because it's a personal recipe. In the show, it looks like tamago sando or Japanese style egg salad sandwiches. So I'm just gonna start by boiling some eggs, about eight of them, not till soft boil, not till hard, but somewhere in the middle, around seven and a half minutes. These get shocked in an ice bath, peeled until you have just really, really nice eggs. Then I'm just gonna take a spatula and mash these eggs up roughly. The goal here is to kind of have the yolk mix in, but not super, 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 super fine. And here is the star of the show, QP mayo. I'm adding in a half a cup just so that this can combine with the eggs. And what I love about QP is that it's a little bit lighter, a little bit sweeter, and seems to match the profile of an egg a lot better in my opinion. I always have to give it a taste. That's pretty good. In goes a couple cracks of black pepper and our egg salad mixture is done for now. The next part involves using milk bread. I found this milk bread at a local bakery. I really like milk bread for the sandwiches because the sweeter and fluffier side of milk bread pairs really well with the eggs. Gonna give a generous dollop of the egg salad mixture on two slices of milk bread and one of the sandwiches seems to have lettuce and tomato so we'll just have that in even though it's a little bit weird but the other one just gets a lot of egg salad more than the one with the vegetables because that is only fair these two sandwiches just go on a tray to chill in the fridge just to set a little bit before we slice now to build this bento box okay this ham is a little bit big for the box we bought so i'm just gonna cut off a hefty slice and just shove it in the corner until the bone is facing up yeah, it's got to Tetris this guy a little bit. Holding that knife like that is quite dangerous. Don't do that at home when you're shoving ham into your box. Okay, we have a little bit of shiso leaf in the middle to add some green touches. And for the other slices of the ham, we're going to use a kindergarten technique of cutting an incision in the middle so that the ham can straddle the edge of the bento box. Call me Bob the Builder, because I fixed it. To cut the crust off of the egg sandwiches cleanly, I like to use a nice serrated knife on a chilled sandwich and use as few cuts as possible, even though I've clearly made a little bit of the mess. I found that using a long knife and not adding a lot of pressure helps you cut through the sandwiches better. The sandwich with the lettuce and tomato also has a thin sprinkling of chives decorating its cross section. Now we're going to shove the nice burger in next to the sandwiches. Kind of squishing the side a little lot, but can't really do much about that. So here you go. I'm going to plate up the fish, two big chunks on the left, and in the middle goes the spaghetti, which has been coated with butter, lemon, and spices, topped with basil leaf and a little sprig of basil right on top, just like the show. And in our final box, a diagonal crisscross of curry and rice. This is white rice that we have cooked off camera. And and a helping of our curry, which has been simmering for 30 minutes and nice and delicious. And there you have it, our version of Sanji's bento box for pudding, I mean, Luffy, featuring the favorite foods of the Straw Hat crew. There it is, in all its glory. Featuring grilled meat for Luffy, sandwiches for Robin, a burger for Frankie, curry and rice for Zoro, pasta for Sanji himself, and finally, fish with lemon for Usopp. Pretty cool, if I will say. But how does it taste? Yep, rice and curry, pretty good. How does the pasta taste? Yep, this pasta's pretty good. Can't really say too much about it. Give a little lemon squeeze on the fish. How's that one? Oh, that one's actually really good. Simple, delicious lemon and fish. How about the honey glazed ham? Probably tastes better when you eat it on the bone, too. Yep, honey glazed ham. That's that's enough said. All right, since I have now had my fill of this box, it is time to invite my friends to do the same. Because sharing food that other people love is always better with other people. There's Rachel. That's a big bite. There's Steve. He seems to be enjoying the food a little too much. By the time we're done with this, this bento box is going to be empty. I use NordVPN to keep my information safe when I'm away from home, and also when I want to watch some of the latest seasons of my favorite anime that aren't available always in the US, like some of the final seasons of Attack on Titan. Watch your favorite shows from wherever you are in the world and make sure you stay safe while you're online with NordVPN. One NordVPN account can be used up on six devices so you're safe on your phone, laptop, tablet, all of it. Sign up today at nordvpn.com alvin and you'll get a huge discount plus four additional months for free. It's the best deal online and risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. Happy surfing!